I hope people who buy our shoes buy them because they're handmade, because they're beautiful, because they're quality, because they're natural materials and, and all those things. Yes, it's, it's very much a job with attention to detail. What I do is, is the result of all these other people before me. We've been in business now for over 130 years and I'm fourth generation in this family. Uh, we now have some fifth generation in the business as well, so there's continuity after me, fortunately. But yes, we're in an area where there's a history of shoemaking tradition and the level of skill that, that we have in our craftsmen is something of which I'm actually incredibly proud and I think the people who make the shoes uh, share that pride. Yeah, I'm a, an edge trimmer. The job entails trimming the soles of the shoes. So the sole, obviously, underneath marries the upper in terms of shape. It's like my great-great-grandfather was a cobbler. Then his son, my great-granddad, he, he went into shoemaking. I guess it's in the blood and I followed suit. I started at 19... 60. I love it. <laughs> I do really love it, yeah. You do know the people, you, whereas other firms I've worked for, especially the bigger ones, you don't get to know the people. The, the way I put the pressure on and take it off to do certain points where they want it dark in the toe, dark in the back, and that, you know. It's like doing a bit of painting, say. Some people take years to learn. There are something like 200 operations in making a pair of, of classic English brogues and most of these operations will be done purely by eye without any guides on the machinery. Uh, they're mostly highly skilled jobs and each person in the chain is entirely dependent on the previous people doing their job to the highest degree of accuracy. And then our job is to put the welt on the shoe, to start the shoe off, start to make it look in good shape. Like. It's mainly there for the sole to be stitched to. The leather that we use, the materials that we use, are, are absolutely key to the quality element of Loke shoes. If you don't start with the best materials available, then you'll never be able to make the best shoes available. Generally speaking, the best leather comes from within Europe. Here we have the best climate for breeding the best cattle, and that means that it produces the best hides and the best skins for shoemaking. So it's very important to get the right um, quality leather. Obviously, if you sharpen your cutter, you know, you've got to take it very steady because you don't want to trim too much off and then once it's gone, it's, it's gone, there's no going back. His son's been here three years, three and a half years now. He's on well sign. He's good with his hands. His brain's in his hand like mine. They've got to look like pairs. It's, you, anybody can do one. You've got to be a bit of an artist to do it. You know, you've got to have that like, it's the same thing, the eye and the hands and the look of what you're looking for. All the components that we use in our shoes uh, have, have to be of the best quality we can find. And for us, that nearly always means using a natural material. Natural materials tend to give you the best balance between flexibility, breathing, water resistance, all the properties that we want for shoes. One of the benefits of the Goodyear welted construction, the way that we make shoes, is that not only are the shoes made by hand and assembled by hand, but when they need repairing, they can be dismantled and rebuilt by hand. So the pair of shoes that you've been wearing and that's molded to the shape of your foot can be rebuilt on the original last on which they were made. In fact, they'll leave the factory looking very much as they did when they were new, with a new sole. Attention to detail that goes into those shoes, how the manufacturing process, how long it lasts, how long it takes to make them. They want a nice pair of shoes, so they buy a low shoe. I 
I think our shoes are a good illustration of the fact that in an age where we tend to throw lots of things away, there is still a place for timeless classics and enduring quality.